During the course of the years of fire companies, one of the biggest things that we all look at is when we have these major fires and other type of large incidents. And the biggest thing that we have is our mutual aid companies. Here in East Windsor, we're very, very fortunate to have a very good mutual aid system. Hi, Larry. This had a fire. There we go. So what I want to do right now is introduce our mutual aid companies and uh, thanking them very much for being there when we need them. Chief Larry Van Kirk, Heights Down Engine Number One. <laughs> Assistant Chief Tony Cattaway, East Windsor Fire Number One. <laughs> Deputy Larry Rubenstein, West Windsor. <laughs> Chief Dennis Hubert, Princeton Junction Fire. <laughs> Mike Kerbin, Cranberry Township. Chief James Pedley, Plainsboro Fire. Deputy Chief Mark Davis, Applegard Fire Department. Vice President Alex Lanza, Wilson Township. In all these fire scenes that we have, and we have all these fire companies and firefighters out there doing what we do, uh, it's great to know that if we need any medical attention, we have the rescue squads. So at this point, I'd like to recognize our two rescue squads that are there for us all the time. We have Deputy Chief Tom Distelkamp, East Windsor Rescue Squad number two. Scott Prickanowski, he's not here? All right, Scott Prickanowski, he's the Chief of uh, Rescue Squad number one, and Vice President Elizabeth Creed. Thank you very much for being there. It's a great thing to know that if we do need any medical assistance or any rehab, you guys are there for us. One of the things over the years that is overlooked is all the, the wives, the girlfriends, the significant others that allow the uh, members to come out during parties, holidays, sleepovers, whatever it may be. So thank you ladies, gentlemen, for uh, allowing all that to take place. I'd like to do the swearing in of the fire and executive offices. Uh, President Ben, I'd like to call up Deputy Chief Eric Duran. <coughs> Captain Bonnie Rashkin. Lieutenant Patty Cakes Bernetti. Lieutenant Michael Trivisano. Stand around too long, we'll call a meeting and start taking a minute. Um, first, I'd like to call Javi Ortega, who's been our vice president for the last three years or so. Our company secretary, Ralph Senan Jules. Been with us for 10 years. And uh, our newest member to the executive board. Michael Kosmali. He's going to be our company treasurer. And this guy, our trustee, Brian Morton, is starting the second two year term. Mayor Mirno, um, before I, I do that, uh, since I had the mic, um, <laughs> that was the first mistake. Okay. I'm going to uh, take uh, the opportunity to just uh, make a few comments uh, before I swear the officers in. 
Um, first of all, let me uh, just thank our mutual aid companies that are here, as Chief uh, Rashkin did. Uh, you all know how important it is and how valuable it is uh, that uh, we're able to have uh, Company One and uh, Heightstown and the other surrounding companies uh, be there for us and, and, and us for you. So thank you very much, and let's give them an extra hand. <laughs> Okay, and then I uh, want to certainly uh, thank uh, everyone here, friends, supporters, family, and most of all, of course, uh, the members of Fire Company 2 who are out there for us 24-7 uh, and do really such a fantastic job and who we can rely on uh, to protect our homes, our businesses, and, and, and always be there to step up and assist in other uh, critical situations. Uh, we obviously had uh, an example of that uh, this year with uh, Storm Sandy. Uh, we saw really how our volunteers from all of our companies were there for us and uh, extra help, uh, extra time, extra dedication. Um, I do particularly want to uh, recognize Company 2, however, I did that uh, previously and, uh, you know, kind of the fortuitousness of having power uh, uh, certainly played into that, but, but really that wasn't all of it. Uh, Fire Company 2 uh, is uh, part of our uh, township family and, and they really act as a family. Uh, they uh, were there for our residents uh, throughout the event. They allowed the station to be used uh, uh, throughout the time as a charging station uh, for uh, electronic equipment. Uh, people were there just hanging out uh, with their kids, reading books, uh, taking advantage of having uh, uh, a second home uh, to come to and uh, some warmth and some other people. Uh, frankly, I did that myself. Uh, I used uh, the back as an office during part of the time uh, so that I could make some calls and faxes and use a computer, having no power at home Monday to Monday. Uh, and our municipal building was even out uh, till uh, Thursday night. So um, they uh, really showed their colors once again uh, throughout this storm uh, and just how much of uh, a critical part of our team and our and our family uh, and how much uh, we love all of them for the great part that they play in our community. So uh, I want to thank all of you. I obviously want to particularly thank uh, uh, Chief Rashkin and uh, President Thornton for the tremendous leadership that you provide. And I just want to note one other thing uh, that uh, we've had the opportunity uh, to um, observe and be involved with in the last few months. And you know. Money's always a crunch for us. Uh, and there's so many things we wish we could do that are very difficult for us to do. Sometimes we can't do. Uh, and we have uh, volunteers in our community, and in this case, uh, Fire Company 2, that recognize that uh, they uh, uh, often are an important part of, of assisting us and supporting us and themselves in the community in looking for ways to bring new dollars into the community. Uh, we've had the opportunity for two grants uh, in the last number of months. Uh, Chief Rashkin was uh, very helpful uh, to me in explaining and advising on grants regarding communications equipment uh, for the two fire companies. Uh, and also, more recently, uh, with the uh, support of uh, our uh, other Rashkin um, to, uh, shouldn't say other because uh, we, we have others as well. Um, uh, we're able to secure a, a grant, uh, a, another uh, assistant to firefighters uh, through FEMA uh, to uh, purchase breathing stations which needed replacement so that we could uh, provide uh, uh, proper and timely uh, support uh, for the equipment that they wear when they go in uh, to these kinds of situations. So there, there's really so much that we're grateful for and that we uh, thank everyone for. I'm a little longer today than I uh, sometimes am in my remarks. Uh, but it's been that kind of year, so uh, before I uh, uh, proceed, I do once again just want to thank uh, uh, the Chief Rashkin, President Thornton, uh, all of the uh, uh, members of the leadership team, and all the members of Fire Company too. You do a fantastic job. We love you, and thank you so much. Uh, at this point, uh, you would uh, raise your right hands and uh, repeat after me. I, and state your full name, hereby promise under oath that I will be a loyal and faithful officer of East Windsor Volunteer Fire Company number two 
and give my time and ability to work for the benefit of the company and for the public to the best of my ability. So help me.